Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show! Well, hello, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me now. Boy, it has been a Monday, let me tell you. All right. Well, come on in, guys. Um, first of all, welcome to another episode of a Mindfulness Monday here with the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. We're just going to let everybody come in and get a seat and get comfortable. Um, today's going to look a little bit different again. Um, but we're, we're just rolling with it. it. Like I said, it's Monday, so this is where we are. Um, as you guys come in, comment and say hi to me. Um, I hate feeling like I'm in here talking to myself. Um, the looks that my dog gives me some days, it's it's quite comical. So when you're, com when you're here, comment, say hi. Um, help us share these videos. Um, you guys can comment and share and like the videos. It helps us spread the word. Uh, and spread the love a little bit of these businesses um, that we're highlighting throughout the Longmont area. So uh, come in, come in. Welcome, welcome. I see a few more faces in there. Uh, as you, hi, Teresa. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. The set is a little bit different today because we're doing something a little different for Mindfulness Monday. Um, so again, comment. One lucky viewer during, uh, during the later part of the stream, I'm going to throw out a question to you guys. And one lucky viewer who, who comments out there, the first one that gets in the comments will win um, today's giveaway prize. And it's a pretty cool one. Um, I'm a little jealous myself, so I wish I was taking it home <laughs> as well. So uh, come on in. Say hi to me. I see there's more little faces out there, but nobody's commenting. So let me know that you guys are here as you come in um, to see the list of businesses that we are highlighting and showcasing every day of the week. Uh, go to the Longmont Chamber website, uh, and that is www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And once you get there, there will be um, kind of an itemized or broken down categorized list of businesses uh, in the industries that we are highlighting every day. So go check that out. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so my name is Jessica Wanasek. I'm the event director over at the Longmont Chamber of Commerce. Um, like I said, my, uh, my set looks a little different today because we're doing something um, I think is a little fun. And I think there's a lot of you people out there doing it along with me. Hi, Rachel. Glad to see you on here with us. Um, so we are doing another Mindfulness Monday episode, and this is our fourth week. We are in, I cannot believe that we're already heading into our fourth week of doing these uh, daily Facebook Lives. So we have enjoyed doing them, and we're going to keep doing them as long as they're needed. And we hope that you guys out there are enjoying them as well. Uh, it help, helps just spread the love a little bit throughout Longmont. So today on um, Mindfulness Monday, like I said, it, it looks a little different today because we are talking stress baking. <laughs> and I know a lot of you people out there um, are feeling that because it is evident in the grocery stores. If you guys have been in a grocery store in the baking aisle uh, over the last two months, um, just finding a bag of flour or some baking powder has been a challenge. I know um, for me, 
I, it was like hitting the jackpots when I went to, I had to go to three different stores to find baking powder. Um, because you know, my family loves pancakes and I was out one day and I literally drove around like a mad woman looking for, um, baking powder. And when I found it, it was like hitting the lottery and, and the looks that I got in the baking aisle when I was jumping up and down, um, was, was pretty classic. So anyway, I know you guys can feel that a little bit. Um, with Mindfulness Monday today, I know these days it helps to keep our minds um, busy. And yes, Teresa, I have gained the COVID-19 pounds as well. You know, my pants are feeling it these days when I go to try to get them on. Um, so yeah, today we're, we're talking stress baking or comfort baking, whatever you guys want to call it out there. Um, I want to know from you, hold on, I'm going to put my cookies in. So earlier I made some chocolate chip cookies, so I'm going to put those guys in. And while those are baking, we're going to chat a little bit. Let's get that going. So I want to know in these, in these past two months, what is something that you guys have been um, baking at home? Um, I, when I Googled the number one top recipe of um, baking lately is bread. Lots of people have been baking bread um cupcakes was a big one brownies was a big one and cookies uh, but but bread i think took the cake literally took the cake uh, for at home baking stuff so um yeah i i'm not great at bread i would like to learn how to make bread better uh so yeah so teresa says what she say blueberry scones yum yum i am a scones fan um, I would like to make some scones as well. So if you have a, a, a good recipe, Teresa, share it with me because I want it. Um, so we talked about the flour and the baking aisles in the stores. I think they're getting a little bit better now. Um, but early on, it was it was clearly evident that everybody was using this time at home with their families um, to learn to bake or to bake their favorite things. And if you guys are like me, I have smaller humans um that like to gobble the stuff up so as soon as it comes out of the oven and it's on the counter it doesn't last very long so um, my husband and i usually have to to swoop in before the kids see it so my small humans out there these cookies are mine <laughs> um okay so rachel cookies what kind of cookies rachel and is and now the second part of the question for you audience out there the viewers i can see you but you're not commenting um, what is something that you would like to learn how to bake? Maybe it's, um, for me, I, I suck for lack of a better word at making pies. <laughs> I cannot make a pie crust to save my life, but you know, some people are really great at it. So that was probably something that I, um, would like to learn how to do is, is pie crusts. Um, I'm pretty good at cupcakes and cakes and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, Cameron is one of my small humans, Teresa, that he, yeah, the cookies, he inhales them, so I hardly ever get to see them. Um, what else? Let's see, Rachel says, chocolate chip and cake, I'd love to try bread. I'm right there with you. Um, I did try to make, it was like a skillet bread and a, um, like a cast iron skillet. I had this great recipe, and I don't think I let the yeast um, rise or whatever they call it, activate long enough. Uh, I kind of rushed the the process and it was like a brick. It was my my family was super nice and they lied to me and said that it tasted good. But we all know that it it was awful. And I tried. So very cool. Very cool. So as you guys are coming on, I see a few more faces on there. Say hi to us. Let us know what you guys have been baking uh, during quarantine or during the time at home with your families. And the other question is, what is something that you would like to learn how to bake? So put that in the comments. Um, years ago, I, for years, I actually had a, a cupcake company that I did um, out of my house. And I give mad props and mad respect for all you cupcake decorators out there. Um, I loved it, but my back did not. It's a lot of hours of standing in one spot, decorating the same thing over and over again on the cupcakes, which is near and dear to my heart, but on my back just couldn't take it anymore. So I want to give all the props um, out there to all of our awesome bakeries in Longmont. And we have um, several of them. Um, at the end of today's stream, I will actually put a list of um, the, the three that just kind of popped into my head. But 
um, you can head over to the chamber website uh, list and you can also look for um, any ones that I missed on this list on there. So go over there. All right. So for you guys that um, are just coming on, I put a tray of cookies in and hopefully one of you lucky winners was, was listening. Um, let's see what time. We got three more minutes. Got three more minutes to talk here. Um, let's see. What has been something that you guys, um, you've wanted to bake and you went to the store and you just could not find an ingredient? What, what were some ingredients during this crazy time that you could not find at the store? I know I already said mine was baking powder, flour. I have an interesting story of uh, flour. I could not find flour. So I went to Amazon and I ordered flour thinking, okay, you know, it'll be here in a week or whatever. It took almost a month and a half for it to get here because my bag of flour took the tour around the United States. It started out in South Carolina. I think it went up to Montana and then through Wyoming and it finally made it here. Um, and then I just kind of laughed because it was, it's a huge bag of flour. So I, I have uh, no shortage of flour these days. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought I was, I was doing a good thing there and it actually took way longer for that bag of flour to circle the world and come back to me. So that was kind of a funny story of mine. Um, comments, you guys, I see you out there. Say hi to me. Hello. Blueberry scones, cookies. Yep. 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 Awesome. Well, okay. So earlier I put a tray of cookies in and we're going to go ahead and do this now. So every day on our giveaways that we're doing, uh, one lucky viewer. Oh, let's see. Rachel just put something on here. She says, honestly, strawberry cake mix for my three-year-old's birthday cake. Oh, you haven't been able to find that. Oh, <laughs> I was taking the easy way out. I have done that. Shh. It's our secret, Rachel. Nobody will know. We'll just, it's between you and me. Nobody will know. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you were able to find it. Uh, and hopefully you know, if her birthday has already passed, um, hopefully she had a great birthday. If not, I really hope that you can find that. Um, if you have to resort to Amazon, it might take a month or two to get here. <laughs> so hopefully you can find that. You improvise. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's a sign of an excellent home baker who can shift gears on the fly and substitute things when you can. So awesome. Good job, Rachel. Okay, for your daily giveaway prize today, guys, in your Mindfulness Monday check-in with me today, we're doing uh, stress baking or at-home baking. I put a tray of cookies in my oven just a few minutes ago, and the first person who can let me know what kind of cookies they were in the comments wins today's giveaway. Ready, set, go. Tick tock, tick tock. What kind of cookies did I put in my oven almost eight minutes ago? And the first person in the comments will win today's giveaway prize. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be? Is it going to be Rachel, the improvised queen? Is it going to be Teresa, the scone master? Who is it going to be, guys? Oh, it looks like Rachel. Rachel Howlett, you came in with chocolate chip cookies. You are correct. So you win today's giveaway and you get a Starbucks gift card. So yay, congratulations to you, you strawberry cake queen, you. Uh, if you will email me when this live is over, I will um, mail this gift card to you and get that right over to you, Rachel. So good job. Um, what I wanted to let you guys all know is that I know that you guys are out there baking stuff. Um, <laughs> good job, Rachel. Um, when this live is over, I challenge each one of you. Hold on. My cookies are coming out. I want to burn my cookies. Ooh, hot. Cool, cool, cool. So when this live is done, when I click end, I want you guys to go and um, share something in the comments that you have baked over the last two months. You can share a picture. Pictures, for some reason, on this live uh, platform, it doesn't like it very much. But um, share something that you guys have baked or that you would like to bake in the future. Um, because, you know, these videos, even though you're not catching them live, they are being rewatched several, several times. And it's always fun for me and the crew here at the Longmont Chamber to go back and see you guys interacting with us. So it's it's really a great thing. So please do that. 
Um, I also wanted to mention that you are going to want to tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's uh, Tuesday's Tunes and Arts. It's our day um, that we kind of highlight or showcase um, either some artistic people, some musicians. Uh, last week we did the museum. So all kinds of fun things that we do on Tuesday. And we have a special guest coming on tomorrow um, who's going to do a really cool demonstration um, and you're going to want to check that out. So come back here to the Longmont Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Tune in for Tuesday Tunes and Arts. And with that, I am going to sign off on today's Mindfulness Monday check-in. I'm going to go binge on some chocolate chip cookies that just came out of the oven. So love to you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.